Yo, what's up guys? It is finally time for the return of the road to top 10 in ORAS OU. Now, uh, this time it's going to be a little bit different. I do plan on doing every single tier as I did back in X and Y, which means OU, Ubers, RU, NU, uh, UU, pretty sure that's the only one I missed, and Little Cup. However, this time I'm also going to be including PU as well as doubles OU. So, uh, this all depends on the support though. If you guys want to show your support for this series, if you're excited about this, feel free to leave a like, do your thing down below, share this on Twitter. You know, if this gets like 2,000 likes, something like that, I I'm not going to put a like goal. I don't really care. I just want to see that there's support for this series before I continue doing it, obviously. So, uh, in any case, today we're going to be using a DD Megalodios for episode one of the series. Shout out to Pearl. DD Megalodios, son. Well, shout out to uh, <laughs> shout out to Shake, if you guys don't know where that's from. I'm going to bring out the legendary DD Latios, son. Oh, shit. Dragon Dance on the Protect. Oh, did not see that shit coming. Did not see it coming. Draco Media. Get that KO. But uh, originally he had a Gyarados over Rotom on this team, but I found this team to be struggling with Sandra, which as you should, it's an offensive guard chomp. Um, uh, also with like Tornadoes and things like that, like it definitely should be struggling with those based on the build. So I actually changed it to Rotom and I laddered up a bit. We're about 1300s. I was testing before recording. I wanted to get up a little bit in points because I don't want you guys to see the bottom of the ladder. And, um, we're actually going to see how Rotom does for the team. So let's look for the battle. This will be the first battle in Road to Top 10. And uh, it looks like we got your mom for OU. Okay. <laughs> That's such a bad name. Anyway, I'm going to lead off with uh, my Garchomp because if he wants to lead off with Gardevoir. Actually, what does he have a Gardevoir plus Manetric? I guess it's Scarf, Gardevoir, and um, Mega Manetric, I'm assuming. Garchomp is just a great lead because I can switch around versus... Right, like your pokey aim. Crazy, man. What is he saying? He doesn't believe I'm pokey aim? <laughs> I, I mean, it's not like I have to prove myself to anybody at all. Uh, but in any case, he leads off with Manaphy. I uh, definitely don't want to stay in. Uh, Ronan puts in work because it can pretty much check the majority of his team. I'm actually going to go directly into Magnezone. I'm expecting to be... Uh, not that, not a tail glow, but he ends up going for, or not a rain dance. I expected a, a ice beam or scald, but he ends up going for the rain dance. I can definitely knock him out with the thunderbolt. I'm going to double out into my Garchomp, expecting him to want to switch out. He actually goes for rest right now, so. Um, I'm not sure why he tried to stay in and take a thunderbolt, but that's his own play. I'm going to get up my rocks as he goes right for scald. I'm assuming he's going to burn me right now as he does not. And uh, what I can do is just go right for the life orb outrage. I'm just going to go right for that. Like, if he wants to Scald again, predicting my Dragon Tail, that's completely fine. Uh, he actually goes right for Tail Glow. So I don't understand his thought process, and I'm not going to try and understand it, because I, I, I just really don't. <laughs> I really don't understand it. But he saves his Manaphy, which is fine. It cannot recover unless it rests later. Um, as Gardevoir comes out, I am 100% going on to my Jirachi, because he is... Uh, I can take any hit, and uh, on top of that, like I can go for U-turn from there. So he decides to go right for the Focus Blast and unfortunately miss. I, and that's unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about that in that situation as he goes out into his Landorus. It is the only rocker on his team, so I am expecting this to be a defensive Landorus, especially based on that U-turn damage. I expect him to take a little bit of leftovers right now. And uh, what I am going to do is go right for the Ice Shard because it does knock him out from 88%, 100%. And I don't have to risk the Ice Crash Crash missing. He goes back out into Mana Fee, but now I can just fire off a knockoff and finish him off like we've all put in so much work in this game actually if i get rid of his landers uh my dragon dance latios wins the game as well so i'm expecting his gardevoir to want to come out right now as he actually goes out to manetric that's completely fine as well uh because i do have hmm I feel like going directly into Garchomp and forcing him to stay in is the play. That way I can U-turn out or Volt Switch out with my Rotom. Uh, goes right for Flamethrower as he is going to burn me as it does knock me out. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, it happens, so it is what it is. I am going to go out into my uh, Rotom, though, and go for Volt Switch right now. I expect him to Volt Switch of his own out into his Latios at this point. I don't expect him to Thunderbolt because 
I could Hydro Pump and put him in range of Ice Shark from Weavile. He should know this, so I do expect him to go out into his Latios at this point. Uh, just to take that, and I want to keep up the momentum. I want to be able to go out to Weavile and just click Knock Off. That's basically what I'm setting up for either Jirachi or Weavile to just completely dunk on him. So I do expect him to go out into his Latios uh, as he goes right for the Thunderbolt. I guess, to, again, to each their own um, right there. But I can go out to Jirachi and go for U-Turn. I'm not trying to predict him. I'm just putting myself in the best position to set up. So I can go for U-Turn, and that will put him in range of Ice Shard after Stealth Rock. So I don't know. I'm not sure why he's making these plays, but he is. I mean, Rotom is just expendable even though it does do work because Weavile kills the exact same things anyway versus his team as he Volt Switches on out of there. So I'm assuming Gardevoir is going to want to come out. He actually goes out to Tornadus. Tornadus cannot knock me out with knockoff unless it is Life Orb at this point. I am physically defensive uh, as I'm assuming that is a Life Orb uh, Tornadus as it is. And uh, what I can do is go right out into my Weavile and go right for the knockoff. Knockoff will be able to knock him out at 66%. And um, I also don't have to risk the Ice Crash missing at this point. I don't know why he put himself in position to be swept by Weavile, but I'm not going to complain because I obviously want to win the game. So Life for Weavile will easily be able to do the 66% uh, as he actually decides to sack Manetric. So now he can't even play around with Intimidates because Manetric is going to go down and um, assuming Landers is going to come out right now. Landers can definitely come out. The other play would be Gardevoir? Yeah. Alright, so he goes Gardevoir. I don't have to go out to Jirachi. I honestly expect him to double out into Landers, predicting me to want to go out into Jirachi. So I'm going to go Magnezone because I am faster than his defensive Landers. As he goes right for Moonblast anyway, so now I can just fire off some Specs Flash Cannons. I'm pretty sure he's either Scarf or Specs based on the damage. I don't really know the damage rolls, but Specs Flash Cannon is going to do a hell of a lot as he is going to drop a Draco on me. That is not going to be enough to knock me out as I'm able to knock him out with the next Flash Cannon. And also, that was his Defogger, so his rocks are here to stay. So he's probably going to go out to his Gardevoir right now just to revenge kill me. Besides to go Tornadus, I would have went Gardevoir if he was Choice Scarf just because now um, I can go Weavile over Jirachi and I can freely click Knock Off and knock him out. Uh, Weavile is 100% the best play. Uh, if he goes Landers, then I just win by going for the uh, Iron Head with Jirachi. So I kind of expect him to stay in, but if he does choose to go Landers at this point, he would definitely go down um, to my Jirachi's Iron Head in the late game. Uh, so if he wants to go Landers, that's on his own accord. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to understand my opponent's thought process because I think it's in my best interest. I learn from that as well as my opponent learns, like as well as you guys learn, not my opponent. My opponent doesn't learn from that. But uh, he goes out to Gardevoir, and um, at this point, even if he goes for Focus Blast, I don't mind. I'm just going to go out to my Jirachi and go for U-Turn because U-Turn will put him in range of the next attack as he actually doubles out into his... Uh, Landers, so that's a good play. Definitely a good play. However, I could go for Ice Punch, but I don't think it'll knock him out from 82% uh, because he is defensive. So I'm actually going to go out into my Latios, and we're going to attempt to Dragon Dance up as he goes right for U-Turn. So he's going to prevent me from Dragon Dancing up. However, he is also putting himself in range of Ice Shard uh, because now I can go out to Jirachi and just click Ice Punch as well. So um, we're just going to Mega Evolve and go for the Earthquake at this point. If he wants to go for Focus Blast, that's fine. He does confirm that he has Choice Scarf. But at this point, I can go out into Jirachi, go right for the Ice Punch. Ice Punch 2 KOs Landers. If he switches out into Landers, it will be able to 2 KO him. It also 2 KOs Gardevoir, and uh, it pretty much sets me up for game because Ice Shard picks off whatever it does in Knock Off. So, like I said, ooh, it's actually a knockout. Wow, so I could have knocked him out from 82%, 100%. Wow. I didn't think I could because I thought it was defensive, but I guess he's like an offensive build. As Gardevoir is going to come out, and I can just go right for two Ice Punches that will be able to knock him out. I even freeze him as he thaws, so... <laughs> as he shows off a last ditch ever healing wish and that's gonna be a good game so uh <laughs> all right that was funny that was definitely funny Latios doing nothing that game but i didn't expect it to do much um in this game however Latios can put in some work especially because manaphy and conkleder i need to get rid of excadrill before i can win the game i'm gonna lead off a guard shot because i can get on my rocks as well as weaken his conkleder as quickly as possible. I don't think actually rocks are going to happen in this game. I'm actually just going to go right for Outrage because I want to weaken his Conkleder. Um, he's going to be able to knock me out with Ice Punch if he does choose to go for it. However, he's going to be left really, really, really low. Actually in range of Rotom's Hydro Pump. Uh, as well as Latios' Earthquake. So I'm actually going to go out to Latios and go right for the um, Earthquake. Uh, because if he wants to go out into Metagross and try and tank my hit, that would be great. 
Uh, I expect Metagross to actually come out, which is why I went for Earthquake. So this is great. Latios setting up for Latios. <laughs> That's awesome. Latios setting up for Latios. I'm actually going to double out into my Rotom, expecting him to want to go out to Hippowdon at this point. It is his best switch. It can take the physical Latios. And now what I can do is just fire off a Hydro Pump. No need to predict. Well, would have been nice, but uh, we're going to go for Hydro Pump again. Would have been great to hit that. Because basically, it just set up for... It literally let my Latios win the game if I hit that Hydro Pump. <laughs> but he goes out to Manaphy. I'm assuming he's going to go for the Energy Ball. But I can take one. And I do have my... Um, I do have my Jirachi in the back. Goes back down to Hippo though, so now what I'm going to do is fire off a Will-O-Wisp because it hits everything on his team if he decides to double back. Uh, interesting, uh, as I am able to burn the Manaphy and what I can do is go right out into Magnazone on what I'm assuming to be a Rain Dance. He's definitely defensive just based on his the way he played that. that is, it's actually an Energy Ball, so that works out for me, uh, I think, because I can take his Scald if he wants to go for that. He's Citrus Berry, interestingly enough. I go right for Specs Flash Cannon because it does 2 hit KO um, pretty much everything on his team as he goes out to Excadrill. And uh, I'm going to let him knock me out with Earthquake just to put him in range of Ice Shard after a few more hits. I didn't want to risk going Rotom on the Rock Slide anyway. Uh, but I'll be able to go out to my Weavile right now. Go right for Knock Off as he sacks the biggest threat to my team, I feel. 100% the biggest threat to my team because Weavile just wins the game at this point. Um, it definitely does 24% what I shard to Conkledur. So I don't even have to risk uh, Mock Punch right there as I'm able to knock him out. Assuming a is going to come out. And um, obviously it's only play at this point. And there is like no reason to risk this Weavile. It wins the game. But I want to win with DD Latios. DD Latios. So I'm definitely going to risk my Weavile and go right for Ice Crash. Crash. We'll also have that flinch chance on him. As we, um, he decides to go for slack off. However, because he is uh, smooth rock and not leftovers, I will be able to 2 KO him right there. He doesn't even let my DD Latios win. So that was a really weird game. Um, I agree with, I, I think I played it to the best of my ability because of how uh, I wanted to win and also what could win. So I don't know if I agree with him staying in with Hippo to go for high, um, to go for the toxic, especially because he was smooth rock and lacked that leftovers recovery. But uh, again, to each their own. Um, as we got another game, I've actually played this dude uh, once before. But um, I'm going to lead off with my Jirachi just because it's a great lead versus him. As he leads off with Garantula. Basically, my plan is to U turn out into my Weavile and go right for knockoff. Unfortunately, we don't have Defog on this team. But he goes out to Skarmory, surprisingly enough. And he's actually Rocky Helmet, which means I can go right out to Magnazone. I don't even have to Thunderbolt. I can Volt Switch, and we prevent Hazards. Besides Sticky Web, obviously. I don't know why. I guess he was fearing the um, Heart Stamp, which makes sense. He didn't want to be flinched for that. But now he's trapped by Magnazone, which means that Weavile just goes ham on his team. And even my offensive uh, even my offensive Garchomp has fun versus his team. So we can go right for the Volt Switch, easily knock him out. He's Rocky Helmet. He's defensive based on the Rocky Helmet. We have 221 speed. We are spec, so this will 100% knock out his Skarmory. Um, especially because Rocky Helmet tends to run physically defensive. I think you should run leftovers on your Skarmory if you are Spadef because that Skarmory is meant to take on uh, the Lottie Twins as well as be a sort of checked Tornadus because Heat Wave doesn't to a KO if they are an Assault Vest variant. But a uh, really interesting uh, choice on his part because I was 100% going for U-Turn right there. But if he was fearing the Heart Snap, it makes sense. But uh, I wish I had Gar uh, Gyarados still on this team because now... Volcarona is a little bit of an issue. Um, <laughs> crap. Uh, we're going to go out to Garchomp and try and get up our rocks. If he wants to go out to Lottie and drop a Draco, 100%. I am going out to Magnazone because Magnazone is just the most expendable member on the team at this point. It trapped the Skarmory. That's all it needed to do uh, on this team. So we can take that Draco, and what we can do is go right for the Specs Volt Switch. We don't have to go for Flash Cannon. Volt Switch is 100% the best play uh, because it gives us momentum. If he stays in, he can't knock me out unless he has Earthquake at that range. And uh, Volt Switch also puts him in range, I think, after a next life or pit if he does choose to stay in of U-Turn. And also just gives Weavile a switch. So what I really want to do is get up rocks. That's like what I really, really want to do versus his team is definitely get up those rocks. And Volt Switch also just gives me that momentum and allows me to um, hit him hard. Hit him hard as hell. Uh, basically, it's, it's Magnazone. I actually prefer Timid Specs Magnazone over Modest only because of the speed. 
Like, because Modus hits what? 218, 219 speed? I think 218 after HP fire, maybe 220, something like that. But, um, I think it's actually 218 and maybe 217 after HP fire. It's one of those, or 219. And uh, with a Timid, you are able to actually outspeed Pokemon like Landorus and things like that. But he goes up to Volcarona. Um, all right, this is hard. I definitely want to go out into my Garchomp and just go right for the... I think I want to go for Rocks right here. I don't think he has Sticky Web. I can take one plus one bug Buzz anyway if he chose to Quiver Dance up. And then my best bet is just going right for Outrage because we don't want to let his Latios come in after that um, and try and defog away the hazards. We want to get rid of the Volcarona. Latios isn't coming anyway. If it defogs, that's fine. Um, I don't know if he'd be defogged though on this team per se just because he has... Galvantula, um, but in any case, I'll go out to my Jirachi and I'll just U-turn on out of there. Um, I don't want to go for Ice Punch because I don't want his Galvantula coming out. And what I can do is just sack my Magnezone to the Shadow Ball. Uh, it might be able to knock me out. I actually live it, so that's great because I can fire off Specs Thunderbolts. Specs Thunderbolts uh, prevents Halucha from setting up. It also prevents Gallade from setting up as well. And um, Galvantula decides to come out. I am just going to Volt Switch on the Bug Buzz, so I'm assuming... What type of Galvantula are you? He definitely even isn't Scarf if he straight up switched versus my um, Jirachi, right? That wouldn't make sense. He definitely isn't Scarf. <laughs> Don't be Scarf, bro. That doesn't make sense if he was straight up switch versus my Jirachi. He was definitely Hocus Sash. Okay, great. So we're going to knock him out with that as uh, I think we're going to be able to win with... Um, with DD Latios. So we're gonna go out to Jirachi and we're just gonna start firing off some ice punches. I wanna save Weavile because it can revenge kill Halucha with the uh, ice shard. So I'm gonna go out to Jirachi. If he SD's up, he SD's up. Oh man, oh man. And I can just put him in range of uh, knockoff anyway by going for Iron Head. It also has that, well, it doesn't have the chance to flinch because of Inner Focus. Uh, alternatively, I think I played this guy. He didn't have close combat stab. He has knockoff. I think the best play is going for you turn out into Rotom because Rotom. Oh, he did have close combat. Okay, but before he didn't have close combat stab, which is why I'm like, wow, that's iffy. Which is why I was iffy about that. But I can go out into my Jirachi right now and. Um... Go for Ice Punch as he actually goes out to Halucha. I went for Ice Punch right there over Iron Head because I didn't want Halucha to come in. Uh, I think he might have just thrown though by uh, by not actually going out to Halucha. But then again, because I couldn't freeze it. But then it would have came down to if it's Halucha uh, dodge and Icicle Crash. So um, either way, he has to go for High Jump Kick right here. He can't SD up. High Jump Kick animation looks amazing, by the way, on Showdown as I'm going to be able to knock him out with the next Ice Punch. Basically, um, we've all did outspeed. Um, his Alucha, and it came down to if Ice Crash missed by, and I didn't want to go for Iron Heads because I didn't want to give him the SD with Alucha because after one flinch, he gets the, um, he gets his Unburden boost with the Citrus Barrier as well, so, uh, Gallade comes out, I get a crit, as he chooses to go for Cycle Cut, I'm not entirely sure why he didn't go for Close Combat, maybe trying not to put himself in range of the, uh, maybe trying not to put himself in range of the Ice Shard, but, I mean, it didn't matter, I went for Knock Off at that point and knocked him out anyway, so, I said good game, and let's look for another game right now as we get a Star Raptor. If you guys didn't know, Star Raptor is a Scizor counter. <laughs> That's a sarcasm right there, and it's a joke based on <laughs> some <laughs> last heat of Fajita, if you guys didn't check that out. But uh, I'm going to lead off a guard trump because I want to get my rocks versus his team. This team is a bit more tricky. Um, if I can get rid of his Clefable, then I can sweep him with my DD Latios. I actually don't want him to burn this. I feel like healing was in this. You know what? I'm going to go for rocks, force him to burn me, SD up, and then hit him with a uh, burnt outrage uh, just to weaken his Rotom. That way I can go out to Weavile and knock it out with knockoff. I think that's better. He said, what the? Man, just dipped. What happened? He came back. What are you doing, bro? I don't understand. He just gave himself 60 seconds. So I don't know why he did that. <laughs> I don't really understand what's going on, but I definitely want to get up rocks because he does have a Charizard. Um... Ah, if he didn't have Clefable, Didi Latios could win. It's really hard. I feel like Dragon Dance is the only... Why I'm DC? I, I don't know, bro. I can't... Your internet? I don't know. 
You gotta pick a move, bro. What is he doing? I keep clicking stealth, right? I'm gonna go for it every single turn. But, um, yeah, in any case, I feel like DD Latios is the, um, the best Latios to use. Mega Latios, anyway. DD Mega Latios is the only thing that it has over regular Latios. Otherwise, Life Orb Dracos are doing so much more, even within the boosted. I can't pick a move. I... I don't know what to say. What it? Screw this. I, I was about to turn off the timer, but if he's just gonna forfeit, okay. <laughs> All right. I, I was trying to figure out. I thought maybe if I stop picking my move, he could pick a move. Maybe he was on the phone or something. I don't know what happened right there. But we're gonna look for another game. We take those points. So this guy's a Tangela. Why does Tangela wall half my team? <laughs> All right. So we're gonna lead off a guard up. Is the mandatory lead for this team? Uh, we can get up rocks. He leads off with his a Paladin. Um, Tangela is actually annoying. I would much rather have a Tangrowth than a Tangela. But at least I can knock that thing off. So I'm going to SD up right here and see how he retaliates if he wants to go for Earthquake. He goes right for Ice Fang as that is not able to knock me out. And I'm just going to go right for the plus one Outrage. Oh my god, plus two Outrage with the Life Orb actually knocks out Hippowdon. So that opens up a door for Latios. That is what I like to see. Uh, he'll be able to go out to Bishop though. Bishop is actually a really big... Um, Annoying threats to his team, but he actually goes up to Aerodactyl, which means I can Voltage on out of there after. Had he went Bishop, I couldn't have, obviously, but goes right for the Earthquake as that is able to knock me out. Because I can go out to my uh, Rotom. I don't knock him out with Volt Switch because of Sand Boost, but it still puts him in range of rocks, which is what I wanted. Or actually doesn't. Wow. I didn't expect that to not put him in range of rocks, but I can go out to my Jirachi, and uh, it's annoying because I actually have to go for U-Turn right here. I can't go for anything else because I can't let Bisharp set up to plus two. So I have to go for U-turn. I have to go out to my Rotom. Rotom checks Jirachi, however. Yeah, I'll just go to Wire for Hydro Pump right here. Because he actually misses Stone Eyes. That's really unfortunate. I'm sorry, dude. But I miss a Hydro Pump, so I guess it, it doesn't really make up because that one could have knocked me out, but this next Stone Edge can't knock me out unless it crits me as he actually misses again as I connect the Hydro Pump. I, I felt like Gator for a minute, missing two Hydro Pumps in this live. Uh, that's really unfortunate for my opponent as, oh my god, the monster is in, guys. I have to burn this thing. <laughs> this behemoth. As he leech seeds, so that's great because what I can do now is Volt Switch out into Magnazone and take what I'm expecting to be a Giga Drain. Um, and also keeps my Jirachi alive for his, uh, it also keeps my Magnazone alive for his Jirachi, so. That, I mean, that's good for me because now, again, I can just go right for Thunderbolt and 2 I don't think I 2 KO Tangela. Why does he have a Tangela? I go for Thunderbolt though because it prevents Bisharp from setting up and it still does 2 KO. So I guess he's not running... Eviolite. Otherwise, maybe I'm overestimating this thing's bulk with an Eviolite, but I went for Thunderbolt because it prevents Bisharp from setting up, and that is what I want. Um, that's basically how I think I win, by preventing him from setting up. So I'm going to go out to my Rotom, and um, because he went for the HP Fire, I don't know, or Fighting, I don't know if he's Scarf or not, which is why I didn't want to go out to Weavile. And uh, I want to fire off a Will-O-Wisp right now as he goes out to Jirachi, so that's great. I think he is choice in some sort of way. I heal it because of its Lumberry. We're seeing some really interesting things on the bottom of the ladder, but I'm definitely going for a double Will-O-Wisp as he goes for these and headbutt and does flinch me. Um, we're going to attempt to pain split as that does not work out. However, we can go out to Latios and uh, I think just go right for the Earthquake. Mega Evolve and Earthquake. I have to put him in range. I, can't, I have to put him in range of knockoff because he wasn't in range of knockoff from 100%. So I have to go for Earthquake again as well. I can't risk him going out into Latios at all as we are able to knock him out. We pull through. However, we're risking the Bisharp setting up right now, which is the issue, the biggest issue. Um, hopefully he goes out. I'm hoping he goes out into his Latios as he goes out to Bisharp. He saw the opportunity. And I'll go right for the... Um, I'll go right for the uh, low kick right there. Or, I mean the earth kick right there. But now I'm going to Weavile. And I'll definitely go for low kick. If he Scarf Bisharp, then he wins, I believe. Is Scarf Bisharp actually even faster? 262? No, it's not. It's like... Yeah, it's not. I'm pretty... No, it is. But we're able to knock him out with the low kick right there. As uh, Latios is going to come out. And what I should do, what my best play is, is actually going right for the uh, Ice Shard. And... Um, 
putting him in range of my Jirachi's U-turn if he is indeed Choice Scarf, which I have a feeling he might be. So it was really hard right there because uh, basically if I hit him with Low Kick though, he was in range of um, Ice Shard, but then it came down to if his we've uh, Bishop crit me. But I'll go ahead for U-turn as he actually is Choice Scarf Latios, like I had a feeling he was, and uh, that'll be able to knock him out, and that's going to be game. So um, that miss with the um, two Stone Edges definitely crucial, definitely crucial uh, versus me. Um, I'm not sure how it would have played out in the end if he was, if he was indeed the, if he was indeed SD Bishop. Though if he was Scarf Bishop, he did outspeed my Weavile. I, I'm thinking, yeah, 262 times 1.5 is like what, 390, 3.5, 394, 393, something like that. So uh, in any case, this guy is a Conkledur, and Conkledur is an issue for this team. It is. It's a huge issue. Typically how I deal with it, same way I deal with it in the last time. I Earthquake it, and I'm um, trying to get off damage if he leaves off a Conk. He leaves off a Rotom though, so I will go for my Stealth Rock, followed up by an Outrage. Um, he does have a Defogger. Why does this guy have Chansey Offense? He actually misses, so that gives me the opportunity to go for a Swords Dance right now. Alternatively, I could just go for Outrage, but Swords Dance is cooler. <laughs> as um, he missed the first Will-O-Wisp. Rotom's just not hitting today at all for either of us. And um, I'll go right for Outrage because he does have the Scissor that wants to come in, but if he goes out the Scissor, I can trap the thing with Magnazone. So I forced him to go for Hydro Pump, which actually I'm in range now of Life Orb plus Burn. So I will go down and get the Switch Advantage right now. And um, if I trap Scissor, I do win with DD Latios. I know I've said that like 10 million times, but we do indeed win. He actually goes out the Scissor as well. So he allows me to trap his Scissor with my Magnezone. I don't I don't like that play. I really don't like that. He should have went like Tarantar to tank it, but I guess he doesn't want to weaken it for um for Latios. But we're able to knock him out with the HP fire right there as well as keep Rotom low, though I, I guess he can healing wish back up if he wants to. As he goes out to Conkler, my switching does not exist. So <laughs> it really doesn't. Um so I'm just gonna sack this thing to the uh, HP fire, hoping he goes for knockoff actually, so that way <laughs> it actually worked out. Uh, that way I could fire off a Thunderbolt and, <laughs> and do a bit more damage. So that worked out a bit better than, or that worked out pretty much how I wanted it to work out as um, Latios can now come out and uh, I should be able to Mega Evolve and go for Earthquake. I, I want to go for Earthquake over going for Psy Shock because he does have that Tyranitar, which I'm thinking is Megatar. I can deal with Megatar though, I can deal with Megatar. I'll go for Earthquake anyway, I'm gonna predict this is Tyranitar. I might as well go in with my Latios as uh, it actually works out for me. So Tyranitar is gonna come out as we get off that chip damage and um, we're gonna go for another one because we don't wanna get Pursuit Trapped. I think he's Mega, is he Mega Latios as well? Are we about to have a Mega Latios party right out here? Cause that looks like Scarf damage. But Scarf Damage could also just be, yeah, Mega Teetar. Okay, so we'll definitely be able to knock him out with the next Earthquake as Tyranitar goes down. Mega Latios putting in work. Hold up, if we Dragon Dance up, we win. Oh, man. Oh, man, I'm excited. Oh, man, I'm excited. Okay, I'm definitely excited right now. Oof. I need to knock off Chansey, though, if I want to win the game. So, goes out to Chansey. Um, my best play is going out to Rotom because if he Toxics me, I don't mind. If he has Thunder Wave, I infinitely wall him. And then I can go for Will-O-Wisp. This man has that yellow color. You already know. Okay. As he no, don't forfeit before I get the DD Ladio sweep. I wanted the DD Ladio sweep. See, even when I have the chance to have that DD Ladio sweep, they don't let me. But we're gonna look for another game. We're climbing the ladder. We're almost up to the 1500s. That is what I like to see. And we're only at 28 minutes as well. Um, definitely a bit of luck in our favor these games. We have a pretty scary matchup right here. I would feel. I, I feel anyway. Um, just because. Well, I, I guess I have a Rotom, so my Caldeo switching does exist in this game. Actually, Rotom's just a great lead versus his team. It beats the majority of his team. I can burn everything. If he leaves off an Altari, I can burn that. Um, he leaves off a Jirachi, so I can definitely go for will o -Wisp right now. He doesn't have a switch into that. I'm assuming he's just going to trade will o -Wisp with his Rotom. Um, and actually, if that's what happens... Yeah, it's Scarf Jirachi on this team. It looks like Scarf Jirachi on this team. And that looks like Scarf Damage as well. So, he goes out to Rotom. And uh, what I am going to do is... Do I risk this speed time and let my Rotom get burnt? I really don't want to, but it's going to get burnt by Scald anyway, so I'm actually just going to go for Volt Switch. If he burns me, he burns me. Um, and if I win a speed tie, that's great. I actually lose a speed tie and I get the Volt Switch off right now, so that's even better for me uh, because he doesn't have a good switch in at all to this monster, this behemoth. 
If you go out to Durantar, I can go out into my, um, what did I say, Durantar? Tyrant, the root sandstorm. <laughs> if he goes out to Tyrantar, I can go out into my, um, my Garchomp right here. And I, he might think we want to trade rocks, but I'm going to go right for the Life of Earthquake and knock him out. Yeah, so I get rid of his Sandstorm, which is pretty big for me. Uh, he probably thought I was Tank Chomp, so he could live that if I was Tank Chomp. But Life of Earthquake putting in work right there, as I'm assuming his Keldeo is going to want to come out right now. And I'm definitely going for Outrage if Keldeo comes out. Artaria comes out. Best bet is going right out into my Jirachi. It is the best play. Um, we prevent him from Dragon Dancing up and sweeping us. I can live one Fire Blast as well as I can live one Earthquake. He doubles out on the road. I'm good play on his part. Good, good, good play. I, I can respect that play. However, I can now you turn out into my Garchomp. Um, allow it to get burnt and actually get up rocks. Now, the reason I'm getting up rocks is because his spinner is Excadrill, which most of my team beats. So I will allow it to get burnt, and I will go out to Garchomp as he actually goes for Volt Switch. So that's great as well uh, because he could actually fear the Outrage at this point, but I don't want him to set up with his Altaria. So I'm going to go for my rocks alternatively, like uh, as the alternative play right now. If he wants to sack Excadrill, that's fine. Um, as he goes Jirachi, so I'm able to get up rocks and... Um, I'll be able to go for Earthquake. If he wants to go for Ice Punch, I can then go out to Weavile and fire off a knockoff. Hurting Keldeo. Uh, also, Life of Earthquake obviously takes him out. If he goes for U-Turn, great. He puts himself in range of Latios. Go for U-Turn, actually. That will be great. I would appreciate it if he goes for U-Turn right here. It turns out he was Smooth Rock Tyranitar, obviously, because the sand is still there. But I, I want to win this game. I want to win this game with my... Uh, with my... Um, with my... With my DD Latios. Now, right here, I could go directly into Jirachi. I feel like that's such an obvious play, and I feel like he'll actually double onto Excadrill trying to wrap it's been away the rocks. But I'm gonna go out to Jirachi anyway. Um, as he Mega Evolves, so that's great. So good thing I did make the obvious play right there. As um, it seems to be the Dragon Dance variant, I'm definitely going right for U-turn. No, because I can go out into my I can definitely go out into uh, Garchomp after on Excadrill. I don't have to care about that. And the fact that he's Mega, he's actually in range of my um, of my plus one Zen Headbutt now. And it's also in range of my Life Orb Earthquake. So Iron Head is by far, by far the best play. Even if he does double out into Excadrill or go out into Excadrill. I even pop its Balloon if it is a Balloon variant. As Excadrill is going to come out. And what I can do is go right out to Garchomp. Um, now Altaria is in range of Life Orb Earthquake. I expect him to fear that. And uh, Garchomp can take the... Uh, he actually goes for Rock Slide as well. That's even better than what I thought he would do. I thought he would go for Rapid Spin, but now I can go right for Earthquake. He cannot switch into anything. Uh, if Rotom wants to come out, that's fine. He actually sacks his extra drill, so... Now he's even... Oh my god, I love this. As long as I keep Weavile plus Rotom alive as well, he cannot uh, Zen Headbutt or Heart Stamp, rather. Sweet me. So that's great. I think that I win with DD Latios now. He goes out to Altaria. I'm not sure why. Maybe... He... You die. <laughs> This is Garchomp, bro. This is Garchomp. So he goes out to Altaria, and um, that's going to go gone. Caldeo is going to come out, and I think DD Latios is going to be able to get this late game win. Let's see. I can definitely go for Outrage right here, as he is going to go for Hydro Pump. So DD Latios is going to be able to set up. Let's go for the final game. Can DD Latios win? Finally. Let's drag it up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, DD Latios. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Come on. That has to be Specs or Scarf Kelly. I mean, that's definitely Scarf Jirachi. But he goes out to Zen, uh, to Rotom after Rocks and with the burn damage. Plus one Zen Hen, but we'll be able to knock him out. Come on, Latios. Hit this. DD Latios, come on. Come through. Yes! Let's go. <laughs> finally. We finally get the late game sweep with DD Latios. Not... I love this. Let's go. Let's go. Plus one Earthquake. It might not actually take him. Actually, it might. It's 359 attack times one. Let's go. Come on, bro. I can't lose to Caldeo. Maybe actually I can lose to Secret Sword Spam. If this isn't. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> DD Latios just coming through. His Caldeo is going to come out. Plus one Outrage. Should be able to knock him out. If it doesn't, it puts him in range of Ice Shard. Let me kill you, bro. And that is going to be a good game. DD Latios getting the final win. 
of the episode. This is a great episode one. I'm happy just for this moment right here. DD Ladios put it in work. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like, you know, support the comments. I love all of it. Share this on Twitter. Let's get this out there. And um, yeah, the way I'll be uploading this, it'll not be every single day, maybe every other day, or maybe uh, like three times a week, something like that. But uh, it'll definitely be happening. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, definitely a really fun live. I'm really glad I tested this team, and I feel like the Rotom switch over Gyarados was just way better for this team. Though I lost a sweeper in Gyarados, I, um, it was Cherry Berry Gyarados, by the way, with Natural Gift, which would be fire because of Cherry Berry, also prevents it from being paralyzed. But I feel like Rotom definitely just helped this team a lot more, gave me that switching, gave me that momentum. And Didi Ladios finally putting in work in the last game. Let us go. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be it, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And um, I will see you guys later. Feel free to subscribe and yeah, cue the outro.